Welcome to Albion Live. We are here getting ready for the 18 UTC primetime ZVZ time slot where people will be taking over territories, taking down hideouts, and basically smashing each other in large-scale battles. I am joined once again by Bogle, the great producer from um, wherever he's from, and Robin Hood RS, who prefers that to Robin Hooders. And we are currently checking out Mabrafi. Um what do you know about Mabrafi there, uh, Robin? <laughs> All I know is my man's in very, very Gucci gear today. I don't, I don't know if uh, Bogle wants to press I on him real quick. We should. <laughs> let's, let's take a little ganser at his full 8.3 masterpiece armor set with an 8.3 outstanding Grovekeeper. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure if my... If my estimations are correct, this man's rolling in, what would that be, about 70 mil, maybe, worth of gear to a ZVZ? That's it? That's it? That, that's it? That's only you know? 70 mil? Oh, okay, I thought that 8.3 in itself was rolling in around 70 mil. That uh, I, I could be off. I haven't really looked in a long time. It could be a, in that range. It could, we could be looking at maybe like 100 mil. 100 mil. I think we're, it's, a, it's a nice setup that guy's rolling in here. And he is with his boys in Squawk. We have Black Order and Aggressor on the field along with Blue Army and the Blue Army Freeman. But we were over next door in the bulwark. <laughs> and uh, the guys in Poe have managed to cluster queue the zone themselves. So we're going to see... A bit of a fight here. This is going to be one of the big ones. Um, before we arrived, yeah, we saw a little bit of action kicking off before the, the action action even started as uh, Sucks is on the field, isn't he? Yeah. And I'm, I'm pretty sure this is probably going to be one of, if not the biggest fight in terms of player count. We will see probably for a few months excluding reset day like this is it like this is you can't really get any bigger than this <laughs> unless like another zerg or alliance shows up and joins the fight like i've i haven't seen this sort of mass in a very very long time but it's going to be interesting to see how sucks handles it for squad as king mojo is not anywhere to be seen so sucks will be leading the squad alliance and um, he's got a very big challenge ahead of him, considering sitting on the other side of that door to the southeast is over 300 people. <laughs> we currently have uh, Snacksor and Lupak uh, talking trash to each other in local. Um, so cute. Yep, yep. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Wow. We also this is... get to see the new, well, the, the debuff that got added yesterday, the new one, the updated mm -hmm. one. That's going to be very interesting. Because as we were getting ready to start, right, Chosen and Bogo, we uh, we did some looking around to get some names to watch. And we saw um, a lot of people actually using the one handed hammer with the leering cane as the offhand instead of a Grovekeeper. It's going to be interesting to see if that new setup combo works in a ZVZ, or if people are going to switch back to the Grovekeeper. But we got we got a couple of people to watch, and I do like. Is that Blob zoned in? It is they are they're they're here talking smack now. There are some of them who are in the the channel, not in the channel, but in the zone already, talking oh. trash locally, and people are getting ready. Hmm. Mm hmm it, it's it's getting ready they're they're ready for this yeah yeah the uh the blinking started the the channeling to get people out of the zone i saw a lot of flashing people going yellow so i think we're about a couple minutes away from that happen the fight that is territorial defense is disabled so we have 15 minutes until the territory attack can be stopped or claimed and here we go poe have just zoned in fully into the zone to the southeast and they're going to get themselves set up it's going to be interesting to see how they approach this they do have a lot of different guilds on the field meaning they can split it up in different directions 
and engage from multiple angles. And um, well, already one death. Malaise was killed. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Malaise? Hello? In the middle of the blob. What the hell just happened? I don't know what happened there. Alright, let's find someone to watch. Mubrafi shouldn't have got zoned out considering his gear setup. Nope, he is still on the field. Blue Army just popped their food. Sorry if you guys can hear me type. I'm typing curiously. Uh, apparently when you... Uh mention that you're a GM anywhere in chat, suddenly people have problems and need your help. Happens. They do indeed. Looks like PoE are going to be uh, splitting off. They got a big blob to the northwest. And I think uh, this little area directly to the north is going to be a fighting point. That nice bridge is a very solid choke. And the little hill advantage here to the west of the territory, or east of the territory, shall I say, near the hideout. Some uh, very nice positioning they got themselves in. It forces POE to be on top of each other, even though they're mm -hmm. outside of Alliance, which is always nice to see. And here we go. Here's the first engage. Got Hammer and Sickle zoning in onto Blue Army. Not much of an engage, actually. And Blue Army's going to be wrapping around to the southwest. Trying to catch off these melees. The melee comp is very, very heavy now, apparently, in these ZVZ comps. So we're going to see a lot of blood letters, flaming jackets, uh, bear poles, maybe. Um, yep, there's a bear poles right there. So a lot of uh, melee weapons are going to be on the field. And here we go, Hammer and Sicko trying to go in for their re-engage. They, okay. They're running for a very small choke, actually. It's a rough. downhill like wrapping that, so. choke. That's rough to do. Yep. And here we go, Blue Army charges up the top of here. Mubrafi isn't going to catch anyone. Actually, does catch one he tank over back, finds one guy. Axis is There done. he goes. But uh, we have uh, Black Order to the southeast for Blue Army, holding that angle right there. So Blue Army is going to have their main focus onto Hammer and Sickle. We do have Crimson Imperium Reborn as well to the southwest. So they need to watch out. They can uh, engage onto Blue Army in different cooldowns, which could make it a little bit messy for the boys in blue. But um, we just saw MacTap go real deep in the back line there, and we're gonna see if the, who gets the best of that. It looks like Blue Army is getting the best of that engagement there. Yeah, very and nice defensive been, play by McGrathy. There goes the Galaclap. There goes the Galaclap onto the Hammer and Sickle men. Three kills right there, and Blue Army are able to pick off the front line. Is this tank gonna make it out? He may I, die. I thought he was going to, but he's he's in trouble here if he doesn't get some assistance. I don't think the BA guys want to go that far after him. No, because they're going to overextend into Crimson Imperium Reborn, and that's something you don't want to do. Frontline getting stunned. Not much pressure. There's a Weeping Mind. Don't want to step on that, Mubrafi. Watch yourself. Watch it. But uh, Hammer and Sickle put themselves in a very, very tight choke. Um, that area that they're in... Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's uh, it's good in the sense that if Blue Army pushes that, and if Crimson Imperium Reborn are to their southwest, Crimson Imperium can just charge up north and hit the back line of Blue Army. So th that sort of that is don't... happening over here. I'm currently watching CIR, and CIR is in the middle of a fight over here, and actually pushing again. Here goes I think it's Black Order. actually just switched positions with Hammer and Sickle. Scorito. Full engage onto Blue Army. No kills at all. Blue Army's hitting back. Very big engagements. A lot of frontline. Half HP. There goes Mubrafi in the oh, deep Oh, the Scorital did get burned by that. That was Oh, rough. look at those Spectre Jackets just doing absolutely work on those tanks. A lot of kills for Blue Army was able to get picked up. Spectre Jacket, Bloodletter comp is 100% king in this CVZ meta now, it seems. After well, we the new Disarray debuff. A number of very low tanks getting out from Scoyotel. Very good heals, very good move uh, defensively by some of those tanks getting out with very yeah. little health, really on the edge there. Um, that's not something you want to keep doing over and over again. And now that a dungeon has spawned there, that's going to make it fun to just make sure you don't yep. click on that and uh, accidentally and, uh, go in. Like Sex with uh, Axe has wrapped around over the top on top of uh, Scoyotel here, and they're pushing into the backside of Scoyotel. Uh, Sex with X is making a decent sized push through it. I don't know how far deep this is going to go. You might want to pop on over to. Let me get a, a name here for you. I'm on a. Oh, distance. gosh. 
Uh, you're on Artista. That's probably a good one. Thank you. Hop over to Artista. Here we go. Wow, look at this choke that they're in. That's that's one crazy... Like, this is what we're talking about. This little choke area. Mm -hmm. Very disgusting to even play on, let alone... But they pushed right, <laughs> push right through it. Crazy plays. pushed right through it here by uh, Sex with X with a very good push. And now we're seeing... Oh my gosh, what is Blue Army doing all the way over here? Uh, is Xanthus, that's not your team. Here we go. Sex with X about to get a foe engaged upon by Skoytow. Nice counter engage there by Artista. Actually, one man stopped that foe That's engage. Nice damage. There goes the cam land, followed by the Grove Keeper wow. onto this massive group. Spectre Jacket wow. just ripping through that damage. Wow. And there it goes. That whole group just got That's, melted. Both sides got melted on that. And, sex there with X, the and there's land. a follow up on top of that for more Sex with X damage. Ah, oh, wow. They are lucky that those five guys got out with less than a, a bar left. That's really, really lucky. They, yeah, this there's a X pile of bodies from Poe and Sex with X right there. And as this is happening, Blue Army have mounted up. They're going to be wrapping around the northwest of the territory. And probably you're going to see, yep, there's well, two they, fronts. You got one to the northwest, one to the northeast. There's a, a Sickle are in the territory, it seems, or just to the southeast of it. And they're going to get it wrapped here. Sex with X. Yeah, there's a dead careful. group on top of this hill here. It's Blue Army and Poe died on top of this hill. We had about six deaths right to the east of uh, uh, um, Artista. Yep, Artista is just marching down south, trying to catch Scorto off guard once again. Look at that damage flying in. A bit of friendly fire, it seems. Uh, Scorto and Sex of X both losing people there. Calman onto the beetle was able to suck in a couple more tanks. But they were able to make it out alive. Those resets not doing a lot of healing, actually. You see um, a couple bars, if anything, on these frontline tanks. That There's person was just... There's massive death here <laughs> as it looks like CIR is being fully engaged by Black Order. Black Order pushing them down to the south. Oh, Black Order got caught real hard there. Uh, but they are pushing continuously through this. Uh, Syndic is on his battle mammoth right now. If you want to hop on Tiftel. Tiftel is a Black Order tank. Okay, thank you. They're, they are wrapping around all the way southwest, it seems. Trying to find themselves the CIR group that they just fully engaged on. They have found it. Tiftel using the new build with the one-handed hammer and the leering cane. Look at those clubs to the west. If he can get himself up there and stun that group, he just there stunned, it goes. He just, no, but yeah, Black Order just stunned Blue Army. He just ran oh into a total God. group of Blue Army. That was all Blue Army. Roll that back. Yeah, he walked look, but, into look a at group that. of armor and but stunned look at that the hell group. out of him. Yep. And now he's Once attacking again. Blue Army again. Come on. Look at the name. Blue Army is way too spread out here. They are way too far to the east. They are pushing right into Black Order and Blue Order, uh, Blue Army and Black Order. Uh, right, guy, that's Blue Army. That's Mosa. Oh my God, dude. This see, this is friendly fire for you. This is what uh, the <laughs> the changes make happen in these massive, large scale CVCs. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna hop. Uh, see if I can find, see what Artista's doing. He's mounted up. He's getting the outpost, it seems, chasing down the remaining uh, Scoyatel over by the outpost. It looks like it's a full wipe by PoE as they pull themselves back away out of this zone. I'm not sure if there's going to be a round two because we still have six minutes remaining for the territory to be claimed or uh, channeled or whatever, but uh, it'll be interesting to see if uh, it happens again. Artisa gonna catch his one score without <laughs> Camland tank. That's GG, poor guy. I think he got dismounted by a uh, one of those mob tigers. But um, <clears throat> that uh. One-handed hammer leering cane combo um, seemed to work pretty well, actually. A yeah, very short really cooldown on it. It's uh, it's um, it's allies. Mates? Yeah, it's yeah. allies. Really, it, incredible, incredible at stopping a, a full-on charge into the back line of CIR. Right. Yep. Very, very helpful for uh, the guys. Oh, and here we go. We have Blue Army versus Black Order here. <laughs> 
They oh know. no, here we go. Hammer and sickle. Hammer and sickle? Maybe. Okay. Um uh, I just hopped over the syndic to see I'm what on he's sucks doing. sucks right now. It looks like we're about to get round two. Yeah, uh, sucks is currently engaging with Mac Tap Duck. Uh and let's see, who else is on the field over here? Hammer and Sickle. Mostly Hammer and Sickle versus Blue Army. If you're on Okay, Sucks. so we're on Sucks, Roger. And he falls back. And as soon as you come out over, he's falling back into the guards. He's gonna take on the guards now. That blob zoning in southeast is all CIR. Um mm -hmm. they are regrouped. Syndic is leading the charge for them. He was on his command mammoth zoning back in. Um, they're going to take a little bit of time to get in here, I believe, as the queue is going to take a while for him to zone in. I think it's like 90 seconds or something like that, 120 seconds. So they're going to have to clear the guards here. These guards, this territory is level 6. So the guards are 100%, 130% extra health and 70% extra damage. Um, so, yeah, you know, they, they're pretty strong. They're, they're not your average everyday guards. They got a couple extra levels, you'd say. Yeah. And if you're a healer, they're your worst enemy. Because they're all up looks in your like, face. Yep. Yeah. So it looks like they're the boys are actually going to rotate back into the same position as they started in. Um, all the groups setting themselves back up. Sucks is actually going to mount up, and I think they're going to go ride head first, maybe, into whatever they can find southwest. We'll have to wait and see what the plan is here. Oh. Apparently, Mac Dep OK is back at base. Oh. <laughs> Oof. OK, CIR are now in the map, I believe. Stokes and Dick. Yep, they are just coming in on the west, southwest side of the territory. I just hopped onto Syndic to make sure it was them. Um, I'm going to stick with Sucks to see what the play is here. Um, I'm going to check Tiftel. Uh, do, do, do. So it looks like one alliance took one side of the territory and the other took the, the other side. <laughs> So if you want to actually hop on Tiftel, there it looks like they're about okay. to engage okay. Hammer and Sickle. As I say that, they uh, pop their carpets and sprint all the way east. I but, like um, that build. I gotta tell you, that looks I do. Like a fun build. I, I want to see how it plays out in a full fight. So yeah, if we I want to see with what it does against the enemy. Yeah, not not your own alliance. Twice, twice, right in yeah. a row, dude. Right in a row on stream. Just want you to know, somebody's got to make a. A clip of that like you ran right into ba and you were like ah oh, crap that's my teammates let me try this other gr oh too good too good too good you gotta love it here we go both teams are dismounted or shall i say both alliances dismounted crimson imperium wrapping onto uh black order it seems pops the sprints night helms are engaged tiftel just gonna hold himself to the east a little bit and try and catch some back line there goes the uh Judicator arm or helmet for the stun. Tiftel heading all the way into the back line. A little bit of a stun, nothing major. He may find himself in a little bit of trouble as, as his uh, back line is actually quite far away. Not much of engage there. Just a little uh, poke in the eye from both sides. Scoy, uh, Crimson and Imperium Reborn are going to wrap themselves all the way up against the wall. Blue Army pulling back. They did want to engage upon that. And there we go. Crimson Imperium Reborn coming in with a massive engagement onto Black Order. But Black Order is going to be hitting them back with the same amount of pressure. Look at this uh, use of the uh, Ematic Staff. Once again, using the Shield Bubble to spread onto the rest of the Zerg. Great play. Nice Locust plays. Black Order is still going to carry on pushing, though. They're not giving up. They're going to keep forcing the... Actually, here we go again. Blue Army just came in from the west. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Because now both sides are going to be clumped in. It's going to be a very, very messy fight. Uh, Black Order are going to pull themselves back northeast. And Blue Army are finding themselves in a little bit of trouble. As they get engaged upon by all sides. Uh, including Black Order. 
Yeah, Scoia'tael is mixed well. in with the POE and the BA, so it's going to make it impossible for Black Order to engage on that and actually be effective. Um, yep. Too much overlap. It's going to be very, very hard to get a good shine. A massive beetle engagement followed up by some damage by Crimson Imperium Reborn. This could be it for Black Order. There's massive damage onto their front line. A hammer and sickle oh, just wow. defended their territory as well, but that doesn't mean that this whole fight is over. The objective here is to get the shield removed from Black Order's hideout, which is currently sitting on two out of four. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be a, a long, long fight. What, another 20, 20, minutes. Yeah. 20 minutes. And Black Order is actually getting run over by Crimson Imperium Reborn. They're getting pushed all the way into this northeast corner. Not much wiggle room for these boys. Side is going to go I down don't know here. Where the army is. They need to come smash this Crimson Imperium backline right about now. Else it's going to be GG. Tefel is holding on for dear life, trying to stun any DPS that he can. And it BA looks like Crimson is currently Imperium currently Reborn. engaged with Hammer and Sickle to the west of that fight. Is it worth hopping over? No, or keep watching the... Oh, whoa, oh, as I said, that I just watched a group of BA just get clapped to oblivion. They just... Like Oof. a group of six, just from full to dead. Yeah, this uh, Black Order group is tucked away in the corner. Not a, They got about 20 people left. Look at that. Locust onto them, followed by the... Um, I can't even remember what it is. It reduces healing. God damn it. I need to figure out the name of that one. Um, but... Black Order wrapping around the the edge of Crimson Imperium Reborn once again. They need to engage onto that back line oh, wow. as they do, but no follow-up damage or follow-up engage by the tank as it seems. The damage was there, but the tank play wasn't. Poor play by Tefel using the hammer there. Um, yeah, I, d I don't know why he was just standing around. I would have sold that. I'm watching uh, Blue Army. Uh, oh. Sucks Boldy and those boys are now falling back. They had just gotten clapped by both. Scoia'tael, uh, well, three groups, Scoia'tael, Hammer and Sickle, and CIR all hit them at once, and they are now mounting up to run away. Oof, yeah, and it looks like uh, Black Order are on their last feet here. They just got absolutely crushed by Crimson Imperium Reborn, and it looks like Scoia'tael are going to be coming in to finish off the job. Um, Black Order pushed up right back up into this corner once again. Crimson Imperium Reborn still hunting them down, and... Uh, there goes the Beetle engage. No stun, though. The sun is right on top of the bridge, and there it is. The, the reset's coming down, but it's not going to be enough, I don't think. Massive damage flowing in. Any second now, <laughs> Crimson Imperium can wipe these boys if they really wanted to, but Black, it seems like this new debuff is really doing work making these fights last as long as they a can lot, a, lot, not, a lot longer they're just a lot yeah, we're not seeing no there. bomb squads or one hit well, wonders we, i did see a couple i saw a couple of uh, times where like uh we saw ba get clapped real hard but i think that was a really good follow-up to a long extended play um it's just rarer now you really have to make it the, a really good play to get uh, a full group wiped in front of you yep and, and just as we were talking about that, Crimson Imperium Reborn just fully engaged onto Black Order once again. Tefel yeah. really not doing much work for his guild. He's just wandering around in Crimson Imperium's backline, not even doing anything as a tank. It's very uh, questionable. There goes his one-man stun, um, but that's about it. Black Order just hanging on for dear life on this bridge, and I'm going to quickly jump do you want to jump over to sucks because black yeah, water just pinned in sucks is actually all the way by the territory yeah he has about to wrap around. into hammer and sickle it seems i don't know if hammer and sickle actually know they're about to get wrapped they do now oh, because they are running oh, towards. you're coming in yeah, and here they right come they're coming the for the turn in the engagement the well done on the on the engagement by blue army and by hammer and sickle turning to face yep. it they actually Both at least not. got there the right guys in the but look right at that hammer and but... sickle group just getting melted by the fire specter jackets that front line is going to have to pull back for blue army back over this little tiny hill this is a tiny um, hill if you got very, caught, I mean, be dead very tiny hill they're going to say screw that hill we're not going to go there we're going to go up through this upper valley and, and they're going to hit the, hot, right the side of hammer and sickle again well done 
and Black Order need to pull themselves back as there's going to be a, some friendly fire here, but not a lot. Hammer and Sickle getting killed. No, well, no, th there's a, one guy from Black Order is definitely getting killed by BA right now. Uh, Kandarash is like, please, guys, please, please, you're hitting me. <laughs> and it looks like uh, Sex with X is just to the north of Blue Army here, down in that little valley where the bridge is. Um, that's where Sex with X is, so. It looks like this north area of the map is okay. Back in control by squad. Um, is it? I don't know if Sucks is going to see this group coming right he up to him. He all alone. He oh. all alone. And what happened here? Sucks, you just let... What? Going to let him ride on by. Are you going to go hold hands with Artista down in the bridge? I don't know what the play is here. What? I I just saw uh say chat one of the beetle guys go oops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like come on. <laughs> All right. Uh, so Blue Army have finally found the actual reds that they were looking there you for. Go. Now you found your enemy. Boy, tells group here. Now be careful you have sex with X right behind you and you do not want to get into a situation where you're both coming from the same direction. It does look like sex with X is trying to wrap around further to the east and Nice job by Squayatop pushing right through on the east. It's going to make it a very messy fight as you're going to want to have Sex with X engaging right on top of this. But there's going to be some some uh, friendly fire. Yes, for both sides, actually, because Crimson Imperium Reborn and Squayatop are both on top of each other here. Um, I did see a lot of friendly fire down in this choke. There goes the Soul Scythe once again by Sucks. Not a lot of follow-up damage nice as of yet. Jump, though. Nice I say that, the but there's the uh, there's the burning jackets. As you see, pretty much the whole entire field is just uh, specter jackets and blood letters burning away the enemy. Sex that's, of X to their sucks. west. That's the wrong guy. That's the wrong guy. Black Order to their north. So Black Order it seems just checked out their hideout to make sure it's not getting a hammer down. Yeah, they got to make sure that they're good here. Now it looks like Blue Army is going to mount up, maybe go. Uh, northeast, wrap around a little bit more because they are very, very pushed up against their uh, teammates to the uh, west here. And if they can drop yep. all the way down to the east, okay, they're going to go southeast along the wall, maybe catch up with... Uh, oh, well, they they did catch up. There they go. Wow. Now they got Skoyatown from them. Now that's the, the riskiest mountain. play I've ever oh, seen. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's why. That's why it's risky. Yeah, I agree. That was a uh, run right to the front line, mounted. Yeah. And then mm. dismount in the tiniest choke with your whole entire Zerg next to you. But Skoytel didn't expect that, it seems. A lot of their front line just got caught off guard, but it seems like they're about to get re-engaged upon. Uh, Blue Army getting smashed in the back line, it seems. Sex with X needs to put some pressure onto Skoytel to relieve the pain. Uh, and CIR are going to keep pushing up onto Blue Army. Sucks is going to try and get his men on the west side now. It seems like he wants to control this rock area with just Blue Army. Um, he's gonna take his boys back southwest, trying to keep the enemy on his screen so they can't mount up and run away, but I'd, I'd... they're just gonna keep marching southwest. I'm not sure if POE's caught it here. I'm not sure if they're still gonna be defending. A lot of people still getting caught off guard. There goes Skoy tells group once again, Blue Army just charging in, Soul Sife's up, Spectre Jackets burning people to death. Look at these healers getting melted here. Uh, that one Black Order tank trying to hide off into the corner. And wow, look at these men just getting wrecked here. A lot of Black Order actually getting caught off guard. Blue Army engaging upon them. This is going to be a bit of a mess. Look at the damage raining down, sucks in a lot of trouble. Friendly fire for both sides. Scoitel, POE, Crimson Imperium Reborn, Black Order, all different damages falling top of everybody. And it looks like CIR are going to be holding their line here as they try and control this little choke area. Black Order need to get themselves out of Blue Army's way, but there goes the damage right onto POE's front line. And that was GG as, as they get caught on this little uh, doorway. They can't leave because they're in combat. These boys are just going to get burned alive. And I'm currently watching Mabrafi here with his 8.3. Uh, oh, my God. He did. He overcharged it. Oh, my God. Why? There's no need. I mean, when it's glowing and has lines of energy going across it when you inspect it, that means it's overcharged, right? Yep. Yep. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> and it looks like um, Whoa. New Army might be going into full hunt mode as they try and find themselves some uh, Jurassic Park figurines to kill, aka some battle mounts. Actually, nope. They're not going to chase that lizard through into the next zone. I think they're just going to make sure that the uh, hideout isn't being demolished. We might... We still have 10 minutes left of um, the hideout defense here in the zone. So we may even see another round, and that will be round free for this zone. That's that's absolutely I need to drink. crazy. Yeah. I'm going to go check out Mactapak. This is going to be one wild kill board, let me tell you. Yeah, it is. I just can't I, believe... Does Mabrafi have more gear in his bag or something? Because <laughs> Overcharge <laughs> might not have been the best idea for a 45-minute long fight. Just saying. Uh, no, d definitely not. I'm going to... What's his... Uh, 18, what's his timer Five for... minutes, 15 seconds left. Wow. 18.35, though, IP. Damn. That's that's wild. Like, I don't even know why you would overcharge that. But uh, as we just chill out, let the blood settle into the field here. Um, I'm, I'm going to hop onto Syndic, see if he's uh, getting a men back or not. He is currently, currently in... Wailing Bulwark. Wow. <laughs> they have a lot of men left still in this in Wailing Bulwark. Um, I don't know if they're going to take it for another round. It may happen. I'm not 100% sure. Pretty sure all these blobs here are indeed um, PoE or PoE Alliance. Uh, that to blob to the southeast is Yaga. That's Crimson Imperium Reborn. Hammer and Sickle to the northwest. Okay. And a lot more just zoned in. And it looks like we're going for round three as CIR, POE, Hammer and Sickle, Yaga, Skoyatel all zoned back in. They're going again, moving up to the northwest door in Wailing Bulwark, about to get their last chance of getting this shield down um, until the attack resets itself. There is also sun on the field. Yeah, they're, they're, they're going to pull themselves out and then they're going to redo the queue again, I believe. Mm -hmm. And then it'll, uh, it'll uh, get the right people in. That will be the play here. I'm watching the southeast gate here. I'm just standing there for a while. See when when and if people zone in. Um, yeah. Do you know anything else about the strategic location of this zone they're fighting about? Or the objective um, of, of this? So the main objective is definitely Black Order's hideout here. Mm -hmm. Strategic-wise, it's slap bang in the middle for castles so if you open up the world map real quick to the northwest there's a main castle mm -hmm. to the southeast there's a main castle two two zone no four zones southwest there's another main castle and also just through the tunnel into the other main like squad hideout zone there's a castle so oh, wow. for returning like it's a lot easier mm -hmm for all guilds because everyone can go and place home and place gear in the hideout so they're a little bit closer to the fight for returning wise so it's always nice to hold like hideouts near major objectives that indeed is a pretty nice zone yeah do you think uh, CIR would place their own they could do They've been edging up a lot, actually. Um, they were able to get one into Sunfang Ravine, which is southeast-southwest. Mm -hmm. 
and that's um, another major castle, which I believe that's where all their sets are, because they're returning incredibly quickly at the moment. And uh, I'm just sitting in Wailing Bulwark at the moment. Everybody's on the door. Uh, they haven't queued yet, I don't believe. I mean, they're down to one last push, aren't they? Yeah. Th there's five minutes remaining on the clock um, before the shield resets itself back to full for the hideout. And then they have to start all over again. And here we go. They just zoned in. Ooh, do you want to stay on Syndic or do you want to... Oh, hop back. Let me actually... Let me try and find a tank. Wait. Um, Because we haven't really watched much of CIR's point of no, view we yet, have uh, we? We have not. Let me go check out Skill, see if he... Skill is riding in. He is currently not on his beetle. So, will he be tanking? Yeah. Mace? One-handed mace? Okay. okay. So, this is becoming more and more uh, common here. Uh, Taproot, mace? All right, sure. Definitely not rolling as deep as some of the other guys, as he's uh, sitting at 1238 IP. You'd think that someone as uh, well-known and rich as Duratine would roll a little deeper. Come on. Let's show him what the IP... What was the... 1835? Yeah. 1238. <laughs> okay. I haven't seen this build yet, actually. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Spectre jacket. Okay. We'll see how it plays out for him. I mean... This is the fun thing about the new the new disarray debuff. Everyone's trying out their new, like, is this going to be new meta? Yeah, new like, builds? what do I have like, here to... <laughs> this is like a test run, but uh, skills, Um, I don't know where he's off to, actually. There we go. He's he's found his Zerg again. Lost his Zerg again. He's going to have to catch back up. Nah, Come yeah, on, Duratine. Is he supposed to be shot calling here? I think Syndic shot calling. You, you hope he, so. Yeah. All right, there we go. POE mounting themselves back up to get themselves into a better position, it seems. And uh, Juratine asked us yesterday why we never watch him. And I said, because you ride a beetle and it's boring to watch. So here we are today. Yeah, we are watching him. Duratine. We are officially watching Duratine. Um, As he plays. so many times for us to watch him. <laughs> I mean, we could either watch him or we could watch Lupak. That's... Uh, but Lupak is currently still mounted. Oh. You know. Is, is he looking at a wall? Well, I... <laughs> <laughs> Lupak will be back with us on Sunday, or Saturday, for ZBZ action. All right. <laughs> oh, look Here at this go. engagement on BA. That was effective. Uh, skill oh, was a wow. little late. I don't know what he was hitting. It looks like he... I don't know, but... Um, and he now he's like eating. He's about to get eating. Are we going to watch uh, an entire lifetime of skill oh, oh he's caught he's caught he's there goes the holy orb peel but it's not it's anything not sex with extra oh sport, my god crimson appearance oh. backline and oh right we <laughs> need a new tank uh, uh do you want to hop on mabrafi yeah he's got the ip <laughs> you need yeah. <laughs> all right we're never showing sure your ever again jesus I what went to a Syndic, he we has will. like a tiny bit of health left on his Mammoth. Maybe that's interesting. Oh, yeah. Syndic's got a little bit of health left on that Mammoth. Let's hop onto that Mammoth. Alrighty. Oh, wow, it does indeed. That's like one engage and he's going to be on the ground. For oh, what is he doing? Getting, for getting he's away, he, uh, he's got his blood letter and invisibility pots. He needs to back away. <laughs> he hasn't got time to. Looks like Crimson and Pyram are going to go full engage onto Sex with X. Not much we can see here. A lot of people getting caught, but not a lot of damage. There goes a couple bombs, but I'm looking at the combat log, and there was a lot of deaths, actually, but mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it seems like it was all the way to the northeast and not in this fight. Sex with X going to be steamrolling onto Crimson and Pyram Reborn. Massive damage, Crimson Imperium Reborn walking right through a Siege Bow, Flaming Jackets coming in, and Sex with X Beetle just stomping right on top of Crimson Imperium's backline. Hammer and Sickle gonna have to try and come in and save Crimson Imperium Reborn. Syndic is literally on probably, I would say, 100 health on the Mammoth now, and one more engage and it's GG. He's gonna be on foot. Mabrafi is not only playing right now, but he's actually in stream right now talking smack. 
Nice. Yeah, I like seeing it. That's that's uh, that's good work right there. This looks like CIR are going to be pulling themselves all the way back. Well, yeah, they're doing it. He's this is effective. And, and you know back. why? There's because Blue Army is not engaging them fully because the hideout has been defended. All shields are back up to four out of four. Oh, POE yeah. have failed. Oh, here's the this, engagement. This was the engagement the we engage. were talking about and happening. Uh, I thought this was going to come too late to get an effective out here because they're very close to the gate here. I believe Syndic's going to be able to get out of here if he goes invisible. Nope, they just turned. He's going to be in the middle here. He just got dismounted. I don't know if anyone's going to notice that he got dismounted. He got the shield placed on him. It's Syndic's got to run. He's yeah, I think get he's fine here. Out. I think he's out. I think he's out yeah. here. He's, the entrance is right here. This is what I was saying. It's effective. He's out. He's done. As you say that, yep, he just zoned out. Just in time as Aggressor just annihilated wow, look at the CIR. deletion on <laughs> sex with X from Aggressor. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. That's... Um, I'm going to hop back over to Mabrafi because yeah. Syndic got away. He did. Um, Congratulations. And it looks like nobody else did. As there's bodies just laying on the ground here. No, but there's a bunch of them on the other side. I saw most of Sun got out. Uh, Sun, Sun did not zone in. Yeah, okay. I don't even know if Sun engaged. I just saw Lupac. Um, yeah. There was a bunch of CIR on the other side, but not as many as came through. But wow, was it just my imagination or did Aggressor just come in through the back there and absolutely jump all over Sex with X? I think they did. Um, okay. We'll probably see a clip of that. <laughs> Are we just like as as it engaged and you saw like the health bars drop it zoned probably uh bogo through to the next zone as he was still spectating mm -hmm. uh yes. syndic yeah, yeah, yeah. so but uh well there there it is that's the zvz content for today the squad alliance able to hold on to black orders um hideout reset the attack back up to four out of four shields in sunfang wasteland um it took PoE three tries, three wipes, fully wipes, um, and they couldn't succeed. And I don't know what tomorrow brings. Tomorrow is Friday, mm -hmm. and it could be a rest day, to be honest, because we do have Invasion Day on coming Saturday, up yeah. on Saturday. Well, we will. And I we believe we're this. doing a. Sh you guys are doing a show on Saturday, right? Yes, we are. We're doing a show on Saturday. We will have Invasion Day coverage uh, at. We go on the air about uh, 1730. You guys can start seeing us at about 1745. Uh, and then at 045, we're back on the air for the NA right here on twitch.tv forward slash Albion online. We'll be joined by Lupac for that once again. And it should be a good one because we have seen the end of this, whatever it was, nap or agreement to not take each other's territory, whatever it was. I don't think the exact details are important, but what is important is now that they're fighting, I think this invasion day is going to be good. I think we're going to have another good invasion day, and I'm looking forward to seeing that. Yeah, I can't wait. I get to finally take part in a, <laughs> in a reset day. Nice. And just to bring the stream up to date, and you guys up to date, Mubrafi Overcharge just ended. Nothing trashed. Oh. Unless Nothing. he had more, unless he had more no, stuff ready to go. It, I I checked. It's all seventy percent. All wow. his armor and weapons are seventy percent. Wow! <laughs> He's one lucky big ducky. winner. Winner! Wow, Mabrafi. Uh, now we just got to make sure that nobody shows you uh, jumping in on top of sex with X like that. Yeah. Mm. All right. Well, thank you guys. Actually, I, I do want to say. Uh, because you did make it, you did say that you know Blue Army and Squad won this one, and it's there might be a pause tomorrow. Let's talk about the fact that uh, Poe has won most of the engagements up until today. Yeah, one hundred percent. They had yeah. been winning the fights. There was a reason they were down two shields already, because BA wasn't showing to these fights. They weren't bringing more than fifty people to uh, a ZVZ. They weren't working together in really good unison or. Uh, with their other allies and you saw the effects of that today um yeah they were getting beat and so this is the first victory we've seen on the stream 
for Spock in in quite some time compared to what we've been seeing from CIR. CIR has been rolling them. So, yeah. Uh, well done for these guys uh, defending their territory and defending their hideout, most importantly. And we will see what happens on Saturday. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I, I can't wait. A reset day is hopefully going to be a banger. And I believe the fights, if, th if this is anything to prove, the new Disarray debuff is going to be giving us a very long fights indeed. All right, so actually, let's let's uh, talk about that really quick. Since you've now seen um, a couple of days of this debuff in effect, do you feel like it's at least better than what we had before? Um, yeah, definitely, a hundred percent. You know, like it, no one was having fun um, being one shot by a single Galantine's player or a weeping repeater. Right? It just was not fun, and we we were. The, the player base was in that situation for about six months and everybody just wanted it to end. It was it was dreadful. But uh, now as we see the meta shift, like we saw today, a lot of Spectre Jacket blood letter builds, a lot of heavy melee comp builds coming into play and the biggest thing that sticks out is the healing. The healing has been reduced so much. It's really unbelievable. Like we we saw resets go down onto tanks and they were getting like one or two bars of health back instead of getting like close to full before the patch hit. So it's it's gonna be interesting. Maybe even the healers switch up their meta in what they use. Maybe we'll see fallen staffs go out of meta and maybe something else pops up. Hmm. Well we will see. Uh, we have time, and we will be here watching them every day, as often as we can. Uh, we may even be back tomorrow, even uh, in the afternoon. What was it, the 21 UTC on Fridays? Yeah, 21 yeah. UTC tomorrow. Yeah, so it should be another good fight. So thank you guys for watching. We will be back in about 15 minutes or so with the AO Daily Show. And we've got a special AO Daily Show today. We will be covering how to get more new players into your guild and, and the best ways of uh, targeting new players, people who are new to the game and getting them integrated into your guild. Because right now we have more new players than we've ever had before. And um, yeah, right up. Yeah. You're like, well, what about free to play? Well, maybe we had more on free to play, but we are darn close because we have about the same number of people playing as we did on free to play. And one thing we all learned is uh, you, you were part of the easy movement, right? I was. Yeah. That helping new players get involved with the game creates permanent players that stick with the game. And we all want more people to stick with this game and get to the high-end content of this game. All right. Well, thank you guys for uh, joining me today, and we will be back in uh, 15 minutes. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.